Well, welcome to Fish Hunt Fish Country. Today, I'm going to start a different project that I have always wanted since I was a kid. I've always loved, you know, wood and cutting trees and logs and the whole process behind making lumber. And I've always wanted a sawmill. And, you know, it's never really been feasible for quite a few years. But the last couple of years, I've really been looking at them and spending a lot of time researching and trying to decide what I wanted in this and that. Well, in 2020, I got COVID and, you know, I, I didn't really feel bad. I was pretty much fine, but I was sitting around the house by myself and I was bored out of my mind, just like so many other people were. And I've been looking at sawmills and I was like, you know what? I've been trying to save. I've been trying to figure out what I wanted and I had figured out exactly what I wanted. And then I put it all in the cart and I was like, yeah, that's a lot of money for a sawmill. And I'm not going to use, I'm not going to make it a living. I'm not going to cut wood for a living. I just want a sawmill for my own set for myself and my own projects that I'm going to do around here. And I've got, I've got a whole list of them that I want to get done. So I need a lot of wood, but I didn't really want to just jump out and spend, you know, $8,000 on a mill. So I decided, you know what, I'm sitting here. I don't have anything to do. I've got COVID and I'm going to make my blueprints and see, just price it out and see what I can do it for. Well, my price was pretty low. And I think I was thinking I could get out of it for about around $1,200. And I was really going to try to salvage a lot of the metals. And once I got to looking around, went to a couple of places, I couldn't find what I wanted. I wanted two inch square tubing, three sixteenths and two and a half inch square tubing, three sixteenths. Well, I, <laughs> that kind of shocked me. I haven't bought metal in a long time. And with everything else, it's just going crazy. So I ended up spending a little bit of money on metal, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to build my own sawmill. So enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Hope you enjoy the video and hope you go ahead and subscribe and you'll see the next one. I'm going to do, I don't know how many part series this is going to be. It depends on how good my footage is and how much I actually videoed, but I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So I started out just by pretty much cutting all my metal and I didn't really video any of that because it's just not fun and just sitting there cutting metal after metal and I cut all my pieces and started tacking and everything together and that's where I'm going to jump in. So I've only worked on it about I don't know five or six hours so far cutting the metal and you know getting everything welded up but I haven't really done any videoing because it's just just welding pieces of metal together and now it's kind of starting to shape into something. Well I really wish I had a big welding table but I don't. So I've got a little piece of pipe down here and trying to get it leveled up and I went ahead, I've got my two inch cut and welded and I haven't welded them together yet. The other piece is right here. But I was, I think I wanna do the slide for the uh, band wheels first. And what I've done is I've got a little plate. So I took a piece of, a loop of copper wire shoved in there and then took screwdrivers and kind of pried it out. The, pretty much the only way I can figure to clamp it kind of where it's centered in there. So the up and down doesn't really matter as long as it's the same, which it is, it's sitting on the bottom. So I think I'm good. I've got it clamped down, same distance, everything. So hopefully once I weld it up, it'll slide evenly. So the other thing I've got to do is I've got to get some angle. This isn't going to be heavy enough. This is 3 sixteenths. I, I chose this because it's literally less than half of the square tube and the square tube for 20 foot was 150 dollars a piece so <laughs> i went with angle iron because it was only about i think 70 dollars something like that so i got to cut the pieces for this i was going to use two and a half but i think i'm going to use two inch because i've got some extra two inch and it's three sixteenths wall the three and a half i found at a salvage yard i was going to use but it's only like it's not even an eight. That's a gauge. It's like six, a 16, 18 gauge. Plus it's galvanized. So I'm just, I don't think this is going to be stout enough. And it's, it's just not. I don't think it will be because there's going to be a lot of band tension on this thing. And I just, I don't trust it. I would have to, I could do it, but I have to do a lot of reinforcing. And since I have the two inch, I'm going to use the two inch and then use quarter inch wall, inch and a half to go inside to make my band tensioner, so. Well, I just got that welded on, and now, it seems to slide about perfect, so I'll pull it off, 
Go ahead, take this off, lay it on the table, and weld up the other side. Well, I got this thing set up here, and I just took some angle iron and clamped on there. Sorry about the heater, it's like 25 degrees, and I ain't cutting that thing off. But I just about messed up, so it's gonna be hard to get on. This is gonna be for my guide to slide back and forth. So, yeah, I gotta unclamp it and get that in there. Next, takes two nuts and weld right here in the corners and pull it up. Something I'll figure something out, we'll tighten that up. But so far, I think we're good. And that'll slide, so I think we'll be good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this clamp back up, back into position, and weld it up. Well, I'm trying like crazy to think before I weld this last piece on is there anything I'm missing? And I think I'm good. I wish I would have figured it out another way. I may try to find a real thin piece of angle iron and weld in that, but I think that's it. I think I'm good. I think I'm good to weld this thing up. Hopefully doing it like that, it should be good and square, good and level hopefully, but you know, I may, I think I'm going to take a square real quick and just check everything real quick and then I'll tack it together. Well, once again today, it is absolutely freezing. And I worked late last night and got a little bit done. So I got the main frame, I got all that welded together up top. And I think I'm gonna bolt, this is gonna be the base where the wheels are gonna be on the inside. I think I'm gonna bolt this together because if I ever wanna take the system off for the band guides or band wheels, I can. If I weld it together, I'll have to cut it off if I ever need to take it off. I don't really know why I would ever need to take it off. It just, I don't know. I'm undecided. I could either weld it all up and say heck with it, or I could bolt it together. But to bolt it together, I'm going to take some little pieces of angle and cut them and weld them in and then run a bolt this way just to kind of strengthen it a little bit so it's not flexing back and forth. But I'm getting somewhere. I'm not worried real quick because it's just been freezing and it's just I need a bigger area really <laughs> I need a bigger shop but I really need to just get that table out of here and it's all in my way but it's too cold it snowed like an inch last night so I'm not messing with it I'm gonna just work with what I got but yeah I'm undecided on that one I can't make my mind up and now that I've got it put together I made it 42 inches 42 inches wide I guess long should be the width, but I think it's, I should have made it three feet. It seems a little wide, but oh well. All right, well, I went ahead and welded in and got, I'm gonna do two bolts on the side and a half inch bolt bolted in and a wheel will go right here. So I just pulled it off, unbolted everything and went ahead and slid this on. It looks like it's gonna work pretty good. It seems to be, pretty flurry flip. So once I get it bolted up, it'll be a real test to see. But I think we'll be good. So got that on. I'm gonna put another clamp just to make sure it doesn't fall. Hold it up while I set it back in and bolt it back together. Well, we got it all bolted together. And so far, it seems to slide real good. Hoping these clamps holding it doesn't break my foot. But well, I guess I can, it'll hit. But it's pretty hag on heavy. So, I'm honestly, I think I got 3 16 cable. Or no, what did I get? 5 16 cable? 5 16 And <laughs> I'm honestly a little worried because that's already, that's probably 70, 80 pounds. So, and then you're going to have your band wheels, your tensioners, and your motor all is going to be on that. So, yeah, I'm going to need some pretty sturdy cable, that's for sure. But so far, so good. Now, I'm debating on which step I want to go now. I'm either gonna, 
Oh, I need to turn. My shaft isn't done yet because I turned my shaft down on the lathe to, I think, 10 thousandths over, inch and a quarter, and then I was going to wait and mic the inside diameter of the, the wheels just to make sure, just in case they were a little on or off. And I've still got to do that. So I was thinking about going ahead and mounting my uh, uh, pillow bearings, but I may wait on that. I might go ahead and make my tensioner system. And I went ahead and I've got these drilled, but I don't have the bolts. And I thought I had some that would work, but they're the wrong size. So I gotta go get some more bolts. And I'm just trying to think of everything I need. That's the biggest thing is just trying to plan out all the bolts, everything that you need. I've got probably 80% of it. Well, maybe 90, I don't know. So I got to go get the motor. I've talked to a guy that's got one. I've got some old Kohlers, but they're only like 10 or 12 horsepower. And the guy's got a, I think it's a 14 or a 15 horsepower Onan. I got to get that from him. So I may go ahead and do that today. I don't know. Lots of stuff to do. So many different directions to go. We'll see which way we go with it. All right. Well, I just got this welded up. And this is going to be a pillow bearing here and a pillow bearing here. And then this will slide in and out. I've got drilled out. I'm gonna put a three quarter bolt or three quarter something. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna probably make a three quarter rod, threaded rod. I haven't decided if I wanna do 16, probably 16 gate or 16 pitch. And that's gonna be for my tensioner for the pulley. All right, well, I got the first set of pillow bearings installed and flip this upside down so I can put these on easier but what too bad I ran a big square sheetrock square across and then try to line my holes up perfectly but these things have a lot of play and I just left them loose once I get my shaft turned down I can uh, tighten them up and get it aligned so there we go well that's one side see how it looks and it's looking pretty good so they spin real nice i haven't checked the alignment or anything but these pillow bearings have a lot of play so i think all i'll have to do to really it's not going to be easily adjustable but i think once i get it set it should be good for a while so i can put washers under here raise it up lower it whatever and i did leave this about an inch out so if i have to I could weld a piece of angle right here with some all thread or something and put like a little tensioner right here, to push back or whatever. But whenever I drilled the holes, I pushed it forward as far as it would go, just like it had tension on it. So, I mean, we'll see later on how it works, but right now it's just, it's good to see something actually coming together. And I'm actually kind of surprised how good they spin. I haven't greased the bearings or anything, but I think it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got some old belts that aren't obviously the right size. I'm going to put them on here in zip time and go ahead and get my measurement so I can go ahead and order a band or I guess a blade, band, blade, whatever. Unfortunately, this is the only B belt I have, and it's 114 inches. You can see we're even close. 
I'm curious. I've got I've got it calculated. I think to 180 some. I'm very curious to see how it actually turned out. Well, that's going to be it, and I think everything is coming together really nice. I'm honestly surprised. Thank you so much to all those who have subscribed. I appreciate it so much with channels growing, and I honestly never thought we'd be over a thousand, which is amazing. So thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed. If you haven't, please do, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.